Oh, I want the person who's never made a movie before, as crazy as that sounds. Like, I mean, we've, we've had people, we've had like a 14-year-old kid win awards. He'd never made a movie before. Well, uh, we have been running this festival for seven years, and we have a call for submissions open right now. So if you have a one-minute movie that you would like to have screened at a lovely theater here in Toronto, please submit it to us. Now, we do have themes for our call for submissions. This year it's media, but you are encouraged to interpret that as broadly as you like. Don't censor yourself. Don't limit yourself. That's why we give you the time limit and the theme. It's like, well, I can't think what to make my movie about. Well, we've given you a theme. Oh, uh, it's going to be too long. No, we've given you a time limit, too. It's easy. Just go do it. You'll have some fun. We've had a farmer's wife from Alberta who'd never picked up a camera before submit to, I think, the first three years, and her movies were, like, among the best we ever got. The film festival is called the One Minute Film and Video Festival because we do, of course, accept both films and videos. The submissions close on January 15th, and after they've submitted them, our programming staff will have a look, and we will pick 60 of our favorites for this year, and they will be screened at the Toronto Underground Cinema here in Toronto. No, it's a lot of fun, and it's like, well, I mean, this will sound like it's not fun, but it's like watching an hour of commercials. You get an enormous amount of content very quickly, lots of different styles, lots of different genres, lots of different directors, so you really get like a very wide international survey. It's like going to the Toronto International Film Festival in an hour, because you get movies from all over the planet, just really fast and really exciting and a lot of fun. The strengths of the one minute film as far as I'm concerned, first of all, you know, you have, like I said, because it is so easy to make, you have a lot more latitude for experimentation. You can try stuff out that you might not want to try on a movie that costs a lot more money or is a lot longer. Um, another thing is that, you know, a one minute movie, you can submit it to our festival, but you are also allowed to submit it to other film festivals. And uh, a shorts film festival is going to love a one minute film because they can just kind of slip it in between the other longer movies and it becomes kind of like a little color pop in between larger, larger shorts, as it were. So that's what could be a smart career move. Yes, exactly. It's a great portfolio piece, uh, in addition to just being a lot of fun to do. If you go to our website, minutefilmfest.com, uh, and click on the button called Submissions, there are two options. One is obviously that you can mail us a DVD. The other is that you can use a file transfer service on the interwebs to send it to us, and we would appreciate that, and so would the environment.